Hello everyone and welcome to Plus Equal. Because many of you enjoyed the tutorials about the templates that Unity provides us here in the learning section. We already did like four of them. The Lego micro game, FPS, karting and another one. I think that's platformer. And now we will create the rollerball. If you don't know rollerball, it's a classic. It maybe was my first Unity project as well. But without any doubt, it's an excellent project for you to start with. So let's not wait any longer, let's begin. Uh, I have opened up Unity Hub right here and I will create a new project. Now pick one of the templates, uh, either 3D or the Universal Render Pipeline will be fine. I think I will pick this one. Uh, here in the project name I will call it Rollerball. Uh, pick a location, mine is already defined. And with this information we are able to create our project. Okay, Unity just opened up. Just one note, if you got a problem, if you got an error while creating your Unity project, if it's something like a decompression failure or fail to resolve project template, all you need to do is actually short your path to the project. I found this uh, in the issue tracker for Unity and it seems that it's a problem if your path exceeds 75 characters. Uh, it will throw an error, so make sure that your path here, uh, the location of your project, don't exceed the 75 characters, and that way it will create the project. Let's go again to Unity, and here we are. We have created our project now, so our next step is create a scene. Uh, this way we can get rid of all this template stuff. Uh, let me just create a new folder here real quick. And let's call it template stuff <laughs> and let's throw everything that we don't need like this come on now I'll create a new folder for scenes and inside I will create a new scene and let's call it main scene you can double click to open your new scene. Now a very basic common step is to create a plane for the ground. So we already did this in other tutorials but let's create here a 3D object and we have here plane. Let's rename it to ground and let's make sure it's centered in the world. It, it is. Everything at zero. If it's not you can always reset here and it will be at the center of the world in the position 0 0 0. Now that we are here, let's actually change the scale as well. So let me put like uh, maybe 3 on X and 3 on Z. So this looks good for me. With the scale of 3 looks good. Now it's time to summon our player. And like the name of the game, roll a ball. We will need a ball to actually do something here. Let's create a ball to be our player. 3D object, sphere. Press F to zoom in. Let's put it down or even better, let's reset its position, F again. You can see that the ball is clipping through the terrain and that's because the ball have, have the scale of 1 and is at the position 0. So we need to push it up half of its scale, let's put dot 5 here and this way the ball will be actually touching the ground as well because the ground is at the position 0 here as well. You can see that here, position 0. But because the ball have the pivot centered in the middle, we want the position to be at 0 0.5. Let me know if you understood this well or not. Oh, let's not forget to rename our sphere to player. Okay, let me see how this is going in the game tab. Ah, looking good. Let's change this, this lighting here. If you go to the directional light, you can change the color type. You might want to get something a little blue or you might want to get something really white or any other value that fit into your game. You can also see at the real time if you go into the game tab and if you change the color type here it will show you the result that is in, in, in the game actually. So I think I will leave the white, it looks good for now. And now we need to get these some colors. Because both our ground and our player are grey at the moment. Now let's add uh, some materials. We already did this also in other tutorials. We just need to create... Uh, let's create a new folder for materials. Because we don't have any. 
and let's create a new material right here and let's call it ground and let's also create another one for the player so we are already have two materials at the moment they are the same but let's go to the ground and let's give it a grassy look let's put it into a, a dark green color we don't need the metallic here and we can put the smoothness to to be really low let's put something like dot two okay seems good now let's pick the player and let's give it another color maybe an orange you think you, that you think that will be okay with an orange i don't know let's try let's put the smoothness to dot eight it will get a little shiny you can see the difference here in the preview if i go up it's completely shiny if i go down it gets opaque you can see that actually i think i will leave this at dot seven so material is done we just need to assign them uh, let's put this into the ground you can drag it actually into the scene to the object that you want i will leave this here and i put this into the player let, let me see my game view okay looks cool we set up a, a little scene here with a ground and a player we give it some tweaks materials and this will do for an introduction to the rollerball in the next tutorial we might go into creating a script for the player so we can move around in our green area so i hope you guys are excited for this especially if this is your first tutorial so stick by leave a like subscribe because more videos are coming thank you a lot for watching i will see you in the next tutorial Stay safe.